Microsoft is raising the prices on the first party games and right now I know the whole gaming community or how would I say more the uh, Xbox owners of the Series S X they're furious right now, okay? And I understand it and at the same time I don't understand it just for the simple fact that, you know, we I guess Microsoft is trying to hold out as far as the increase in the prices. Sony jumped first with uh, EA and, you know, some of the sports titles and uh, 2K by increasing it from 60 to 70. And Microsoft held out. They said, we're not increasing the prices, blah, blah, blah. Then they start giving the mumbo jumbo stuff. Basically, hey, these games take a lot of development time and resources and blah, blah, blah. And basically saying, yeah, we need to increase it, you know, the, you know, to soften the blow on those, you know, you know, on those costs. Because, yeah, why not? They make up an excuse, but, you know, most games these days just ship out half-baked with no features or missing features. So, yeah, I wouldn't expect a $70 game in this day and age to have those features now because they couldn't deliver it at 60 bucks so i don't know what ten dollars extra is doing mind you microsoft not even microsoft video games as a whole as an industry made i don't even have the exact number in front of me but if you could you could search it up online multi-million dollar industry and made millions of dollars not million millions of dollars just off of digital sales okay digital sales subscriptions software sales they're making money they're profiting as a whole okay these first party companies are making money if they're not making off the games if the game flops that's okay you got companies like microsoft with game pass with like 19 million subscribers 19 million people that's giving you either $15 a month or 60 or 120 whatever the number is, do the math, it's going to add up after a while. Not only that, but they're also purchasing games that might not even be on the service outside of, you know, the first party games. But jumping into the article real fast, I don't want this to be a long video. Uh Microsoft representative basically said that this price reflects the content scale and technical complexity of these titles, a Microsoft spokesperson told IGN. As with all games developed by our teams at Xbox, they will also be available on Game Pass the same day they launch. Now, I get it, okay? Uh, I'm not really mad at it because I really don't buy... I do buy a lot of games, but as far as first-party games, I already have Game Pass Ultimate. I pay for it monthly. So, I'm pretty much fine. Uh, there might be a couple of games I might just get physical just to have for the collection. Especially, you know, if it's, if they have, like, a little nice special edition or a nice box art, whatever the case is. But games like Forza, I'm not going to buy that physical. Especially because the value of those games physically drops in value. So after a couple years, the game will be, like, 15, 20 bucks. You can get it from GameStop. And then, you know, the digital storefronts is going to, you know, pull it off the store because... The licenses on the games are on the cards are going to expire. Hoopla, hoopla. So, they try to make it seem like, okay, well, yeah, we're going to increase it, but we do have Game Pass, and all of these games are available day one on Game Pass. And I think this is just a tactic because um, investors, is you know, they want to know how are you guys going to increase, you know, pricing or anything to make money. And I guess they're going to do it on the games. And hope hopefully and hoping that people just go over the game pass the people that are you know not subscribers they just jump on board just so they could get those games so they don't have to pay the 70 bucks and in my eyes i mean i feel like the game pass might just be the better option just for the simple fact 15 dollars a month you know it, even if you play one game even if you play like let's just say starfall uh, uh starfield when it drops you just that's that's cheaper than buying a game, or let's say Redfall comes out and you want to try it out, and you don't like it, 
you don't feel that bad. You know why? Because you only spent 15 bucks. You could uninstall it and play Forza. You could uninstall it and play something else. And I think that's the beauty of having the subscription and having the perk of having those day one games that Sony doesn't have. And, you know, it's a better, it's an easier sell. Like, hey, 70 bucks for this game? Or do you want to just give us, you know, your money towards Game Pass. It make, it's a no-brainer at that point. And you get other games on top of that. Um, Third-party games. And it just makes sense in the long run. Even if you get the yearly subscription, if you, even if you play two games, <laughs> you know, you kind of get your money's worth already. Because the games, they were 60, so two games is 120. You know, the math ain't math most of the times. Okay, you get your money, you make your money back if you play two games. Even if you don't really like those two games, there's other games there on the service. So you kind of get your money worth. I don't know. Was this a good move by Microsoft? Eh, probably not at this time. And, you know, everyone's going to start to complain and cry. But I think this is one of those things where it's just going to go over, over time. Just like how Sony, everyone was crying about the $70 price tag. And now people still buy the game. You get what I'm saying? Like, now if they start making crappy games, then you got a problem on your hands. But then again, if you have a Game Pass, would it make crappy games? Or, you know, that's another question this brings is if you have Game Pass already and, you know, games come out and they come out have unfinished, they could just say, well, you know, you have Game Pass, so when it's ready, you know, when, when we get the patch out, you guys can revisit the game. And that's the beauty of it. But then also, it's like, well, if you only subscribe to Game Pass to play, you know, Starfield and the game is broken on day one, well, now I can see where you kind of just wasted your money. But, hey, what do I know? I'm just a person in my, you know, little room recording this video. But if you guys liked the video and you guys felt like I was informative, if I gave a good take, or if you guys disagree with me or agree with me, Please let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification button to stay notified. Um, I don't make money off these videos. So the support, the subscribes, the likes, the comments, I really appreciate those on the previous videos and stuff. Even about the uh, fire alarm battery. Yes, I, I'm sure I cannot reach it. So until then, I will have to find a chair or something to turn it off. All right. Peace out. Stay safe.